hi guys and welcome back to my channel today we are back to some makeup i know some of you guys really wanted to see some new videos on makeup from me but i've been buying so much home stuff so yes we're back to some makeup and it's funny because i was going to release a video a few days ago or a couple days ago on wednesday and I went to Sephora they're like oh you're not gonna wait until the sale I was like what sale they're like you know the 20% off I was like that's right so I waited for the 20% off root sale <laughs> to get the makeup so now that's why you're getting a video now instead of Wednesday last Wednesday <laughs> but I could have done another home video but I am going to do some more home videos because I have so much home stuff I want to show you guys that some of it I really love. So I like to tell you about that type of stuff too. But today we are talking Makeup by Mario. Makeup by Mario. So this is his foundation and it's called Surreal Skin Foundation. And let's talk about it. So it is one ounce and it has a natural finish it's hydrating it has medium coverage and it's supposed to be long wearing and it says apply the foundation with his f4 brush for a seamless seamless skin-like finish gradually build to achieve fuller coverage for more natural coverage apply with fingers Note, there's a very low percentage of skin tone enhancing pearl powder in the formula that lends to a beautiful, naturally luminous finish, but is undetectable on the skin. I like luminous finishes. You guys know I love, my go-to is my Armani Luminous Silk. This is my favorite foundation. And I got it in shade 15N and it retails for $42. So let's open it. It's funny because I was in the store and my daughter's like, I want that, let me hold it, let me try it on, let me see. <laughs> hey, she's three and she loves makeup when mommy puts it on. <laughs> okay, this is the bottle. I feel like it's simple, nothing, you know, it's not luxurious or nothing like that. It's a, it's a glass bottle um, with a white plastic top that says by Mario. Very simplistic. So let's go for it. So I'm going to do one half of my face with my La Mer brush and the other with a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender. And so far, what I have on my face is some moisturizer. That's it. So let's go for it. Let's start with one pump. And I just have to get started. Okay, one pump on this side. And one pump. Okay, this is actually one pump. This was not really one pump. I was just getting it started. So let's try a little bit more. Okay. And let's do this side with the Beauty Blender. I have a few blemishes, so let's see what it does to that. I love using the um, Orbe Super Shine Cream on my daughter, but because her hair is always on my face, you know, because of hugs and, you know, kids, I can't because it breaks me out when it's just rubbed on my face <laughs> from her hair. Uh, but I love it for her hair. It's so great. Okay. Okay. La Mer brush. The La Mer brush always gives more of a I don't know what you would call it, but a to me it gives a, a really nice finish. 
and you you don't have to use as much product let's see what I should have done so you see it without my makeup without the makeup on one side this shows that I have not done it in a while <laughs> right <laughs> but okay um this is a great match it's a great match for me I'm gonna wear it throughout the day and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like after I've worn it all day so yeah do I like it so far um yeah yeah um it's a good match it is a bit luminous you see and um yeah no it's maybe i feel like it shows all of my pores but i think that's just me so let me see let me look on the bigger other side of the mirror no it's a good match i like it hmm it goes on smooth let's see how it does for the rest of the day yeah what do you guys think let me take off one side so that you guys can see what it actually looks like with one side not done hold on one second okay i'm back this is what it looks like this side i kept on with the beauty blender and i took off this side and when i went to go look in the mirror it okay i really like this this is really pretty and looked in natural light that's why it's important to look in natural light. I'm going to give you an update in natural light so you can see how the foundation wore. But this is, no, this is a really pretty foundation. Do you guys see it? Yeah, I like it. It's pretty. And it's a great skin match too. Sometimes it's hard to find that, you know, the exact match. So yeah, I hope this helps you guys. If any of you were trying to figure out if this is something that you want to purchase or not. And I'll, uh, I'll give you an update after I've worn it all day. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Yeah, no, this is pretty. It's smooth. Under these lights though, I was like, man, I guess it's showing all of my pores. But the truth is that it's not. It's the lights that's giving me that effect. And sometimes it's weird, you know? So... But yeah, no, this is a beautiful foundation and it goes on smooth. And so maybe I should do a swatch too, just so you can kind of see it. The luminosity, luminosity of it. Yeah, it's, it's really pretty. I don't know if you saw it. Hopefully, let's try it again. But it's right here. But it's it's nice. It's nice. It's pretty. Yeah. So guys, this is what the Makeup by Mario foundation looks like. Um my little girl she wants me to come out i just started the video <laughs> sweetie i'm coming out in one second okay thank you for your patience sweetie looks like in natural <laughs> natural daylight uh i didn't put any concealer on because i realized that when i put my concealer on it kind of goes right into the foundation and i really won't get a true feeling of what the foundation looks like at the end of the day. So this side, I put two pumps on, one pump on this side, one pump on this side. So I put a little bit more on than I did uh, when I did my first impression of it. Uh, so this side has no powder on it and this side has a little bit of powder on it with you know a brush, nothing 
deep. I didn't pack on powder. And yeah, and so I'm also checking out, of course, the Gwen Stefani lipstick to see how it wears all day. But yeah, I will see you guys, you know, later on to see how this looks. But this is what it looks like. And of course, you can see this has a little bit more luminosity because I don't have any powder on. And so, yeah, we'll see how it wears. All right, guys, this is me six hours later with the Makeup by Mario Foundation. Remember this side is with the powder and this side is without the powder. Sorry, I had a mask on. So yes, I had a mask on. So, you know, sometimes I took it off, sometimes I didn't, but it's holding up pretty well. All right, guys, it's been nine hours and this makeup, of course, it's starting to um, fade a bit because I only put a little powder on this side and not any on this side. You know, it's going into crevices here and around here a bit. My eyes are dark because, well, I'm tired and I have a three-year-old <laughs> and I didn't put concealer on to see how it would uh, hold up without other makeup on it. So, yeah. And of course, I'm still testing out the Gwen Stefani lipstick. So yeah, you guys tell me what you think. But I like it. I think it's a nice makeup. I think it's smooth. I think it's lovely. Um, and it's very skin-like, I would say.